Hello! On this video, I want to show you how to build a very simple Windows Form application to include the class library on the solution. And for that, I'm going to open a new project. I'm going to click on Windows Form Web App. And right here on the form, I'm going to add a couple of labels. The first one I'm going to name LBL name, and the second one I'm going to name LBL age. So very simple, and I'm going to double click right here on the form, and that creates a method that gets called whenever the form loads. So on the LBL name dot text I want to set it to Joe and the LBL name age dot text I want to set it to 21 so I'm going to run this project and very simple form it shows the name and the age here so now I'm going to add another project right here on the solution so on the solution I'm gonna right click and then add a new project and I'm going to choose a class library .NET framework and right here in the name I'm gonna name it to my class library so the idea now is for the Windows Form project to access some of the My Library classes. So right here in the My Library, I'm going to right click and I'm going to add a class. I'm going to name this class a person class. And I'm going to make it public. And now I want to make a couple of properties. The first property is going to be a name. So to create a property, I'm going to type prop and then press the tab key twice. So type prop and then tab twice and that creates the property. So the first one is a string name and now I'm going to create one for the int age. But so far, these properties have no value. So I'm just going to create a constructor here to set the value for name and age. So now I'm done with the My Class Library project. And now I want to access the person class from my main class so the first thing is to try to instantiate the object but there's a problem here I can't instantiate the object so if I try to do a person then this class cannot access the person class even if I try to do the my class library still can't see it so before anything, right here on your main project, you need to make sure that there is a reference from this project to the My Class Library project. And right now, there is none. So I'm going to right click on References and add a reference. And then go to Project Solution. And I'm going to click on My Class Library. So click OK. And now, my class library is right here. So that means this class now can see the my class library. And I can start instantiating the object. So my class library dot person p equals new person. 
if you don't want to put the my class library right here, another option is to include in the using. So using my class library. And if you do that, then you no longer need my class library in front of person. And right here, I can set the label with the object. So p dot name and then the age p dot age and don't forget this age is an integer so if i put my mouse on top of it i can tell right here that it's an int so i need to convert to string now i'm going to run this program and on the form i have general in 21 and those are values coming from the class library so that's all for this video thanks for watching this is easy and you can do it